Thank you. So I'm presenting on a um, project that I did, which has been published in 2005 in this book, and it's, it discusses it discusses um, positions of architecture, design, use of space, uh, yet um, any any kind of uh, conceptuation and uh, perception. And this is the matrix of the book. It deals with different subjects as future and material theory, methods, film but also space and city. And this little red area here is this white project, so it's circling, or, uh, circling around these two main subjects. It's a bank and also a pool, uh, which is a hybrid building. So speaking about hybrid, uh, I, uh, you can start with tools uh, or two, two uses. For example, this is a lighter, and at the same time this is a saw where you can cut out all the burn stains of the ashes. This is, of course, applicable for, for German problems. I don't know if oriental rugs, if it's possible. Uh, this was a 3D uh, approach. The second approach is like, this is all handmade, by the way, also very awesome design. So these are collaged in two dimensions, different scales, and it's superimposed over each other, so you have really weird situations of giant water drops tumbling um, off on the roof. And then the next layer is like going into a systematic drawings, like uh, two-dimensional areas. You have an, an idea of, of this um, plan, then there's a like square TXT, it's a wall for you can stand there, nothing else. You have the entrance from, from the floor side, you have the light from up. But when you turn it into another dimension, a three-dimension, you can even play with the levels. You can come from up, for example. You can swim outside and not in, uh, on, on this level. So you can play. Kind of like um, up and down, and uh, the next slide will tell you uh, that uh, you can take it into a So the city, for example, I was choosing the river bank, yeah, where you have a different situation of up and down. You go down, for example, and you have a different perception down on sounds. You know, the sound of the city up is a different sound, and down is a different sound. So you can analyze, and you have the intensity of sounds. This also leads to a mapping of the city, for example. This is Berlin, and uh, for example, this is the location where I've never been. And you can perceive like, the lines of ships, the sound of uh, ships are increasing here under a bridge or the train here, is increasing entering the uh, train station and so on. It's superimposed over this photo, but the location of me, of course, was in a specific place. So you can superimpose the sounds where you are in the location where you specifically are. So this creates this really weird uh, organic uh, uh, yeah, shape or the collection of shapes reflecting on the buildings and sounds. So uh, the next step is going from the two dimension to the three dimension. So this drawing has become a, a, a model like out of plastic. You, you, can, you can have it three dimensional. You, you can have this, the shadow photograph which uh, reflects exactly the same uh, shape. And again, me in the position where I have Again, uh, the model on the collage, so you, you combine 2D and 3D, and you have this, uh, again, same location uh, of, of this model, just to, to give you the idea of how to follow this idea. So, so the next thing is exactly on the spot where you are, you cast the model. So these are the locations in the model where you are, where you hear the sounds. And then the collage is, uh, for example, represents, going back to the idea of a hybrid building, bank and swimming, you can uh, collage like a person uh, swimming in the background as a bank, for example. The next one was, and if I pay attention to the left of the picture later on, it uh, repeats itself. The model is on, the, I put the model in the model itself, and so it's, uh, it's directly put in the, in the area where the sounds have been perceived. Yeah, so, uh, these are play games of, of the shape. And here, this is the color of the model of this, uh, of this spot inside the model. And so what can you do with the space? How can you create the, the, the bathing area? Here, of course, this area in the upper photo. And it's, it's maybe like a rhythm going up into a building. Because it's a very big area with a, with a river, so it's it might be a home. So how to create this? Building, what can you use like shapes, solid shapes? So using clay, clay material to create shapes, and maybe it's given around it to uh, give this idea of shape. And here, uh, 
these are studies on the levels what can be the use for a bank because it has very specific programs. And here, uh, turning, turning these clay models into levels, into a more, uh, let's say, perceivable building itself, from the, from the um, solid element to, to layers and analyzing the structure that it is. So, this is from an era of hand drawn uh, plants, so they have their own effectiveness, uh, maybe. Here, uh, these are the ground floor plants, some parts, and under it, these are sections uh, showing what, what is needed to have the structure working. It's really weird. So, and the next thing is how should the facade look like, and how, how should the facade of the solids, the building look like, and of the, uh, of the skin surrounding it. So there are many references to existing examples, of course, like uh, uh, Dominique Perrault, uh, a famous French architect. And then playing with the perception, like, of course, it has never been built, but it's just a map that could be built. So we have like, these games of, of uh, drawings and models, just like keeping it in a stage and the image that would uh, be possible. And the last slide. <laughs> As a, then there's more photo of this building, so we just want to imagine you have this, this wonderful landscape of swimming and you have the trains in the background that are entering this building itself. <laughs> I mean, seeing public, public open and closed space. Thank you.